Hello class and welcome to section 11 to a which is about frequency tables uh, by the end of today's lesson you will be able to create frequency tables and answer questions about the tables a frequency table is used to show the number of pieces of data that fall within a given interval an interval are equal groups of numbers used to split data into pieces. Um, so the big thing here is to be able to determine the intervals that we are going to use. Uh, one thing I want to point out is um, a lot of times we'll count by fives or by tens or even by twos. When you are counting by this uh, or by those numbers, if we are starting at zero, and we are counting by fives, the first group is zero to four because that includes the number zero, one, two, three, and four. That is a group of five numbers. Your next group then would be five to nine. That's your next five numbers. So five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So a lot of students like to go 0 to 5 and then 6 to 10 um, because they think that the second number should be counting by 5s, but that actually puts 6 numbers into that first group, which we don't want. So when you're doing intervals and if you're counting by 5s, 0, 5, 10, 15, that first number should be increasing by 5s. And the second number should also be increasing by five. So you can always double check your intervals are correct by going 0, 5, 10, 15. That's going up by fives. 4, 9, 14, 19. Also going up by fives. So you want to be really careful when determining those intervals. Um, not all intervals are going to be number based. So in this case, the intervals or the groups that we're looking at are the different types of pets. So we would have dog as the first interval, cat as the second, fish as the third, and hamster as the fourth. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and tally. So all you are doing here is putting tally marks. So we've got fish, then we've got a dog, Another dog, another dog, a cat, a hamster, a fish. Uh, starting that next line, we've got dog, cat, dog. Remember, when you get a group of five, you go across. Another dog, fish, hamster, cat. Another. Uh, starting the third line, hamster, dog, cat, dog, cat, cat, fish. Um, and then over here, the frequency is simply counting up those tally marks. So we got five, six, seven, eight. Cats have six. Fish have four. And hamsters have three. Then to answer this question, it asks, what is the mode of the data? That means you're looking for the one with the biggest frequency. So in this case, the mode would be dog. Go ahead and try this one on your own, making a frequency table for the colors, which you will have to check momentarily when the answer shows. And then into the box, you're going to type your answer for mode. So we have our table all filled in with our frequencies, and then our mode in this case is going to be blue. That's the one that occurs most frequently. Uh, now we're going to talk about one that has a frequency table with numbers. So we're looking for what fraction of the data costs $40 or more. Um, and here are our different prices over here. When determining the range, it's, or excuse me, the intervals, you're going to want to look at the smallest number, which is going to be 25, and the biggest number, which in this case is 67. Uh, to get from 25 to 67, we can count by fives or tens. I'm going to go ahead and count by tens. So the 10 below 25 is going to be 20. And the 20s, so there's a group of 10, 20 through 29. And then we've got 30 to 39, 
40 to 49, 50 to 59, and then the last group being 60 to 69. Now you're going to go through again and make those tallies. So we've got 25, 29, 35, 49, 59, 64, 44, 38, 55, 41, 67, and 28. Uh, looking at your frequencies then, we have answers of 3, 2, 3, 2, and 2. Now what it asks here is what fraction of the data costs $40 or more. So we're looking for the groups that are 40 or more. In this case, it's the last three groups, so the groups of 40s, 50s, and 60s. So to get my fraction, I've got 3 plus 2 plus 2, which is going to give me 7. And then I need to figure out the total. So 3 plus 2 is 5, plus 3 is 8, plus 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12. So my fraction here that cost more than 40 is going to be 7 out of 12. If it could be reduced, then you would want to reduce it, but 7 out of 12 cannot be reduced. Go ahead and make this frequency table on your own, and then answer the question, what fraction of the data is 40 plus messages? I went ahead and I counted by tens again. I started with 0 to 9. There was nothing in that range. Then we've got 10 to 19, 20 to 29, 30 to 39, 40 to 49, 50 to 59. And we find that there are the last two are going to be our 40 plus. So we get 3 out of the total of 10 options. If you have questions about this or anything else from the lesson, please feel free to reach out and let me know.